Hi everyone, today I want to share with you some of the reasons I prefer to use UCCNC to control my Axiom CNC router as well as the one behind me. Now, the software itself will install on just about any hardware platform that supports Microsoft Windows operating systems. It will work and install on Windows XP, Windows 7, 8, 8 1, and Windows 10. But there's a compatibility list on a website if you want to check out for yourself. Over here, I have it installed on a Windows tablet and it's connected to a UC CNC UC100 controller on the other side through USB. Now, although it's a tablet, it has exactly the same functionality as you would have on, on the software on something like, let's say, the laptop. What I do like about the setup is the portability factor. On the other hand, on the laptop, I have it installed and using Ethernet with the Ethernet controller on the Axiom. What I like here is that I can take the laptop and I can be 5, 10, 20 meters away and still have connection with the CNC router while it's machining. Now, my redundancy strategy is actually quite simple. Um, let's say I have a complete hardware failure. So what I've done, I've copied all my, of my UC CNC directory over to a, a central location. And if this fails, I will take one of my spare laptops or desktop and I will copy that folder over to the machine. And with basically minimal setup time, I will be machining as if nothing has happened. Now, you might ask, why is that important? Well, as you know, these kind of failures have a way to bite us when we least expect it or can afford it. And that's normally when you have a time critical or sensitive job that has to be done. So that quick recovery redundancy was extremely important for me when I decided what I want to use to control my CNC routers with. The convenience of making design changes on the fly. And of that I mean, if you go back to Vectric or Fusion 360, you make a design change and you export it, you can directly import it from the laptop to your machine into UCCNC and you can just keep on machining. The following point I will demonstrate a little bit later, but it is basically full control over all your fees and speeds while the machine is cutting. There's clear and visible ways in UCCNC to manipulate those speeds. And let's take your spindle speed as an example. You can change it from 24,000 RPMs to 12 on the fly in UCCNC and see exactly what it is. So there's no guessing, you know exactly where you are. The software also allows for you to edit your G-code on the fly if you want to. And then there's probing, and it's not only just work offset probing, it is center finder, it edge finder. I find that extremely helpful for doing job setups. You also have full access to diagnostics and configuration if you want to troubleshoot or fine tune. Now, you can also allow a support technician from anywhere in the world to access your machine with something like TeamViewer or Remote Desktop to log into your machine and either to troubleshoot or to do an in-place upgrade of your software. The possibility of custom screens and macro design, and this will be bespoke to your operation to aid in productivity. I find this very useful. I have touched on the following point, but it's the fact that the system is fully networked. So that means you can import files locally or from a network resource somewhere else. Now, because the device is directly connected to the router, you have real-time view of what's being machined. And that is very helpful when you do a job setup to see the boundaries, as well as when you have limited stock to optimize that stock, as well as seeing or identifying possible crashes. Now, I call that what you see is what you cut.
So all I've done now is I've removed the tablet and I've imported a very simple job into UCCNC. As you can see it's a circle underneath this is the G code for this job. I've already set the X, Y and Z to, to zero and we're just going to machine in the air. That's just for illustrative purposes. Now you remember I mentioned that you can edit the G code on the fly and that's exactly where you do it. You can edit the G code, you can find, replace and then you can save and that's a G code that will run. I've also talked about custom screens and screen modification. Now while well, every time, time before you start to work uh, or before I start to work I do a touch off just to make sure that my touch off probe has connectivity and you normally check that in your diagnostics. So what I've done I've created a LED on the main screen so when I touch it, I test it, I can see that the LED is being made instead of having to go to my diagnostics, diagnostic screen touching it off and then check to see that the probe is being made. So it's a simple modification but it saves a bit of time and it, it's just easier to see it on your main screen. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start this job and I'm going to show you how I manipulate the feeds and speeds while it's machining. So first of all we'll go a little bit faster on the spindle speed as you can see we are now up to 7700 I can take it all the way to 9000 13000 is no problem I can bring it down let's say something like 5000 uh, approximately 5000 I can also adjust my feed rate I can go up as you can see I'm now at 1500 17 I can go even faster 2000 or you can come down completely all the way. So that's how easy it is to manipulate your feeds and speeds dynamically and to have a visual representation of exactly what's happening. There's really no guessing about feeds and speeds because it's, it's everything is just here for you to see. I really hope you enjoy this introduction to a few of the things that UCCNC offer and I hope to see you next time. Thank you.